Right, so I'm going to be checking uh, some relays here. My understanding is uh, that we've got a couple of relays or potential relays for the cooling fan. Uh, so I've got that one and that one. I think that one's a starter relay. I think. So I'm going to check these two anyway with my uh, relay tester and then see how they are and how they react. Because I know the problem, because like I've said before, we've got one fan for the AC and for normal radiator cooling duty. So, uh, so we're going to check this one. We should be going to that. Give it a test. That's 10 clicks and that works. So we've got proper uh, functionality function. And then the next one, we check the brown one as well. Make sure that one works. So make sure you, these are four, that's a five pin. I'm going to check for five pin. Yeah, that one's four pin. So you have to make sure. So I'll check that one again. So that's it, that's fine. So we've got two good functioning relays. Uh, another one's potential is this one here at the end. So, which is R12. So when we look at our Haynes, got fuel filter or air conditioning compressor relay. So I'm just gonna check that one as well. And here. So that's four, so I'm going to change the four pin. Test. So those are, uh, so I sort of believe that the that the radiator fan is working fine. Uh, the relays are fine. There's no, obviously if there's blown fuses and stuff, then things wouldn't kick in. The compressor's kicking in. We've seen that in the first video. Uh, so I've got no reason to believe that the, that the fan is not kicking in at the right time. It's cycling. So one of the next things I'm going to check which is a bit more work is the pressure pressure sensor make sure that's working as well which i believe is right down there so i'm gonna have to take the grill off to do that so uh, i don't think we've got any other any other uh, uh, relays so r7 r7 is that one it also says it could be the horn, so we'll perhaps check that one as well. So it's four pin. I'm sure it's four pin. Yeah, four pin. It's on the four pin setting.
yeah so that's working well it's it's doing what it should be doing anyway to say whether they're working properly is a real sort of uh something you know it's quite a uh, a different statement isn't it to uh obviously you're checking for green crust and things like that within the within the system and i know these are quite prone for getting green crusted with green crust one minute it's working next minute it's not so you're checking for things like that but everything seems to be in in the right order so uh, i'm going to leave it there so we know that the radiator is functioning the radiator cooling fan is functioning uh yeah i'm quite happy so uh gonna leave it there and then we'll perhaps come back with a third installment so uh but at least you know which ones are your uh, calling fans just make sure r1 r1 is the starter relay so r1 the yellow one that's interesting to know as well that's the starter relay so if you're having trouble starting it's definitely worth checking that out as well so uh, there is another one there on other models calling fans so it might be with the twin twin calling fans maybe if it's got a different setup but uh yeah that's it so i'm gonna leave it there i'm not gonna drone on too much but you know where the uh, the relays are so uh thanks for watching